A lot of people requested me to do a guide on how to win against certain matchups with Zed. Today I decided to teach you guys how to play and win every time against Yasuo with Zed. If you are a Z player, you will face Yasuo a lot of the time in mid lane. There is some tips and tricks that you can do to win the laning phase almost every time and today I'm going to talk about that. First, we are going to talk about what runes to take against Yasuo and then about the gameplay. So there are actually two rune pages that I would recommend against Yasuo. This is the standard rune page that I take most of the time, but this rune page is not really good against Yasuo. Scorch isn't that good against him because he has shield. Transcendence is a scaling rune. Versus Yasuo, you need some help in early laning phase, so this rune page isn't really that great. If you struggle against Yasuo, you can freely take resolve secondary. If you take bomb plating, it's going to help you if Yasuo all ins you with E plus Q. If you are not a fan of bomb plating, you can take second wind. That is also a good choice because it helps you against his Q poking. I also take overgrowth because I really love the extra health that you can get with that rune and it's always hard to burst somebody that has some extra health. Electrocute allows you to burst down Yasuo when he least expects it, but this is actually not the best rune page. The best rune page that you can take against Yasuo is a conqueror rune page. Yasuo is not a squishy champ like other mage mid laners so conqueror works really well versus him. It allows you to take trades that you could never take with electrocute and even win them by just auto attacking him. The most important thing to know if you are playing this rune page is to all in him when you have at least like 6 or 8 stacks of conqueror. If you have at least that many stacks when you all in him, you are going to get max stacks pretty fast and that's where you can just freely auto attack him and he has no choice but to run. With Zed, you can't really fight Yasuo until level 3, so at level 1 you usually want to let him push the wave. The only thing that you can do is poke him with your Qs or farm with them. While you are CSing with your Qs, try to hit him with them so you remove his shield. At level 2, you want to level up E, because that is going to help you CS if your wave is under turret. If Yasuo decides to jump on you at level 2, you can throw Q while he is jumping on you and when he lands on you, quickly press E and auto attack him once. That is going to deal a lot of damage to him and if he plays it bad, you are going to win the trade. At level 3 you can start poking him, but care for his shield. Before you throw your WEQ combo, try to remove his shields with your Qs. After this you can start throwing your poke combos. The biggest problem is his win wall, because he can easily block your Qs, but there is one thing that you can do against that. There is a way that you can always hit at least one Q on him which is pretty decent. You see, when you throw your W shadow in front of him, chances are that he is going to block both of your Qs, but if you put the shadow behind him, you will almost always hit at least one Q and of course your E. Another thing that you can do is not throw your Qs right away when he places the wind ball, but instead wait for a good opportunity to do that instead. When you use your W shadow, you can always recast it to dodge his Q tornado if he throws it on you. Don't let him ever hit you with his Q when you have your W shadow placed down. Also, don't swap before he fully casts his tornado because he might predict you and just kill you, so swap only when you see the tornado coming towards you. Keep in mind that Zed is a lot weaker than Yasuo until level 6, so don't be too aggressive because you can die pretty easily if you overextend or play too cocky. At level 6 the fun can begin. In my opinion, if you play it right, you can almost always beat Yasuo in a 1v1 fight at level 6 with Zed. 
The most important thing is to dodge his Q tornado because at level 6 you can dodge it with your ultimate or swap with your shadows. If you successfully dodge his Q knockups you basically won't have that duel because he won't have the damage that you have with your ultimate. There are two tips that I can give you to know exactly when to ult Yasuo. The first one is if he uses his wind wall to block your Qs. After this just wait a bit until your energy and some cooldowns restore and then you can freely ult him while his wind wall is still on cooldown because it has a really long cooldown. The second one is to ult him when there are no friendly minions nearby. You see, Yasuo has a lot of dashes and the more friendly minions are around you, the less chance is that you are going to kill him because he is just going to slide away. So keep in mind that you want to ult him when there are no friendly minions around. Against Yasuo, you don't really want to rush Yumu's Ghostplate if you want to kill him 1 vs 1. The best thing is to rush a mythic item first in order to kill him way easier. You can pick any of the mythic items versus him but don't let Yasuo decide your mythic item. You decide the mythic item depending on the whole enemy team. If they have a squishy team, the best item is Duskblade. In teamfights you can just clean them all with resets and invisibility. If they have tankier champions it's Eclipse. Eclipse goes really well with Conqueror so if you took this room page you can freely take Eclipse because it's a good combination. Also Eclipse is probably the best mythic item if you want to kill Yasuo in a 1v1 fight. And the last mythic item which you can take is Prowler's Claw. That mythic item is also really good to kill Yasuo in a 1v1 fight because you guarantee that he can't really escape once you ulti him because you have an extra gap closer. In conclusion, pick the mythic item that suits you and your playstyle the best. And that would be all from me today. Please tell me which champion would you like to see next. The most upvoted comment will be the champion I will create the next guide for. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.